kind of com common idea, you know, that you have to be a good boy or good <laughs> girl, and then your parents, <coughs> parents will love you more, yeah? But the problem is that it's not always, it doesn't always allow you to be who you are. And of course, along with that is the idea that I need to get love, yeah? that I, I'm lacking love, and therefore I need to get love from my parents, or I need to get love from somebody. And if I want to get love from somebody, then I have to be very nice to them, because then they'll give me love. You know? I'm not saying those ideas are really particularly wrong, but it's not the whole picture. And the whole picture is more to do with the fact that we are love. So we don't need to get love, and therefore we don't need to be nice, you could say. So being a nice boy, in order to get somebody to give you love, is already holding you in a wrong idea. Yeah? And the fact is we're all, we are love. So this is already our central truth that we are love. And this is something that comes more and more out in this retreat, that we are love. And then somehow we can all relax because we are love. And I hope in this retreat we will actually feel that strongly. Usually, usually we do. We feel it very strongly, everybody. Everybody has millions of structures and in order to become truly free, we need to let this stuff go. Yeah? But still, maybe when we're put in touch with it, it's a bit uncomfortable and doesn't feel nice, really. There's a famous story in my book, Papaji Amazing Grace. There's a woman who actually still lives in this town, an American woman, and um, she had been living in India for many years and she'd had different masters. And she also became a sadhu. She was wearing orange clothes, which meant that she didn't carry money, and she uh, always had to ask for food. She kind of begged food, yeah? Which, as an American woman, is not so easy. And she came to Papaji, and uh, he immediately recognized the fact that she was wearing orange clothes, so he immediately organized for her to stay in a, in a guest house for free. I don't know who paid, but not that woman. And then he invited her to come to his house for breakfast, lunch, and dinner because he knew she had no money to buy food. Yeah? So he took care of her food and her accommodation. Yeah? And then he asked her, what do you want? Like, why did you come here? You know? What do you want? And she said, I want you to take away the last grain of my ego. So this was a very dangerous thing to say. Very, very dangerous thing to say, you see. So then what happened? When she came to his house, because he invited her, she would throw him out of the house. She, she, had to, she would get thrown out and told to sit outside. And this happened almost every day. But this poor woman, who actually was a sweet little American woman, you know, she was thrown out, constantly being thrown out of the house. And she'd sit out in the garden, and she wouldn't understand, well, well what have I done? Well, why? why? You know? And what he was doing was taking away the last grain of her ego. This is what she wanted. She said she wanted it. But, of course, the process of doing that was very, very unpleasant. And you know, all the people were saying, what has she done? What has she done? She may have a terrible karma. Maybe she killed somebody in her last life. You know, she's got a terrible karma. Then Papaji sees it and is sending her out. You know? Nobody understood what was going on with this woman. And she also didn't understand. You see? But he was doing what she said she wanted, which is to take away the last grain of her ego. So be careful to ask such a thing. <laughs> <laughs>